goodness, I'm going to, I'm going to really miss the sounds of screaming. I'm really going to miss that. More or less empty. Huh, Mr. Skeleton? And Skelly Rex. Yep. They are ready for the next big adventure. Also got my very most favorite meal here from my very most favorite place to eat in Hershey, Freshito. If you're ever here visiting or if you live in the area, definitely check them out. They're, they're a chain restaurant. They make like poke bowls and stuff. But uh, I've only heard of them up here in the Northeast. So I'm really, really, really gonna miss fresh Cheeto and I'm gonna enjoy this last meal. Last meal for at least a little while. It's today, it's today. And it's a beautiful day so far too. Are you ready, Spiny Norman? And my other cactus and agave, are you ready to make the long journey to our new home? Oh yeah. I know you are. I know you're ready. So am I. Hello everyone. Welcome and welcome back. So as the title of this video implies and as all of the footage before this implies, I'm moving. <laughs> I am moving from here, from Pennsylvania, and I am heading back down to Florida. That's right, I am, uh, I am officially moving to Florida. Um, that's actually all I'm gonna say right here up front. Uh, there's a lot, a lot, a lot that I have to say about this. It wouldn't be a Chris the Girl vlog if I didn't have an abundance amount of things to say, whether they are necessary or not. I have a lot of thoughts and feelings, obviously, about this move. And um, I know it's maybe a little bit of a surprise, maybe not that much of a surprise to a lot of you. I think a lot of you probably predicted this, but uh, but nonetheless, um, there's some things that I, you know, wanted to explain and, you know, the plans for the future and, and all of that stuff. But I don't wanna, I don't wanna say all of that up front. I gotta make a video after all. Um, but anyway, I will say, Today is travel day. Today we are leaving Pennsylvania um, and we are not heading all the way to Florida. It's quite a drive from here to Florida. Um, we're gonna make, uh, you know, stops along the way and, and things like that. But uh, ultimately, the destination for today, if I'm not mistaken, is South Carolina. And I'm gonna, again, go way more into detail of that later but the point is it's travel day i am getting the last bits of my stuff out of here out of uh out of my apartment out of my former apartment and uh, then we're gonna hit the road so i hope you all are excited for uh, another travel vlog this is one of my most favorite kinds of vlogs to do because i love to travel and um it's really cool to be able to take you all along with me and uh not be so alone in my travels today so without further ado Let's go. Before I leave though, I thought maybe I would share just a couple of memories of this place of my apartment. Um, I moved in here August of 2021. And um, I was here for a few months and then obviously, or maybe not obviously if you're new to the channel, but uh, I went down to Florida um, in December. So I really and truly only stayed a couple of uh, couple of months in here but wow what a couple of months what a few months those were so in here I had my office space also my study room as I call it because at the time I was actually taking uh, graduate school classes um, fun fact it's gonna be a lot of fun facts here for you all today sharing a lot today of my personal life but uh, I used to uh, aspire to be a librarian um, and so I was taking I, I wanted to get my master's degree in library and information science so I was taking 
um, some classes. So this this room reminds me of uh, of working, you know, remotely. I work remotely, which is how I'm able to move, by the way. But uh, it reminds me of working, you know, an eight-hour job every day, and um, also studying, studying for my for my class, sitting right here. My desk was right here, and uh, I also remember. Um, watching a lot of YouTubes here, actually. Now, why is that significant? Well, it's it's the watching of the YouTubes that inspired me, you know, continued to inspire me to do my own, to be able to make this video right now here for y'all. So, I will always think of, I will always think of this room as one of the rooms that, um, really helped me move in that direction. I was sitting right here when I first watched Tampa J, when I first found Tampa J on, on the YouTubes. And I'll never forget that moment because I was, I was hooked from, from the second that I, that I saw him on the YouTube. And it was just yet another inspiration for me to, again, start my own channel. So, this is the room that I unpacked my um, iPhone 13, uh, which I bought specifically for uh, doing the vlogs, doing the videos. That was right here in this room. Uh, this is the room that, man, a, a lot of stuff actually happened in this room. I guess I spent a lot of time in this one little room here. So anyway, I wanted to share some of that with you because it, it means a lot to me. Um, leaving the place that I started my YouTube career in. So anyway, I'll go a little bit more into that later, but I just wanted to share that. And then this is the bedroom that we're stepping in now. Uh, you know, decent amount of sleeping went on in here and you know, all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of personal memories that happened in this apartment. Again, even though I was only here for a few months, um, a lot of stuff happened here in this apartment. And um, a lot of it good, a lot of it bad, um, to be honest. And I'm not sharing any of that. But, uh, so it's mixed, it's mixed feelings. That's all I'm trying to say. It's, it's, it's mixed feelings for sure. Okay, not too many things left. Obviously, got to get my skeleton crew here. Thunderbug over there in my hat, my purse. And uh, next, I'm going to tackle the plants. Fun fact, or I guess uh, tip, fun tip for you all. If you have cacti, this is what, uh, this is what I do for mine. Because he's so long and so prickly, I just grab one of these uh, little bags you know, that you get from like Amazon or, or whatever when your packages come and I put his little hat on, his little uh, night, um, night mask, sleep mask thing. That way we're both a little bit more protected as we, as we travel. Also props to my parents because they're the ones that uh, came up with that really, really smart idea. So there you go. Okay. And get the get the children into my car now. Doing a last look see of everything, and uh, looks like I'm good to go. Just shutting windows now for the last time, and uh, about to head out. Thanks for the memories. I'll never forget you. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Also want to share this memory with you all. 
It's also for, a lot of this is for me, so when I go back and watch, I can remember. But, uh, early December, I, so many very special came to visit me. And it changed my life forever. And, um, I opened this door and he was standing right outside here. Right there. And, um, wow, there is nothing like that feeling ever. And I think that's, weirdly enough, what I'm gonna miss the most, because it doesn't really make sense, because, uh, you know, I'm leaving to go be with him, so, like, there's nothing to be sad about, but it's just, like, this was the spot where we met for the first time, so, um, it's a little emotional. A lot emotional. I am crying. Let's, let's be real here, but yeah. Okay, just wanted to share that. Alrighty, out the door we go. My apartment, no turning back now. It's locked. Okay. Well, let's go. Here's what we're dealing with, folks. Mr. Skeleton is gonna be sitting shotgun for the time being. Got my Skelly Rex here. He's got his little, uh, trick-or-treat pail. We'll see how long that lasts in that position. Um... And then, yeah, we're packed, packed to the gills in here. I will not be able to see out of my back, my rear view window here, but that's okay, because we still got, we still got the sides. So, okay, let me show you the back. All packed up. So the cacti, believe it or not, are back in there. You can see a little purple back there, his little hat there. My hat, Thunderbug in the back here, and yeah, completely packed. Got my suitcase and my bathroom and stuff right here so I can pull them out easily enough when uh, whenever I stop at the hotel, and yeah. Okay, I think, I think I'm think i all uh, all set. Even had a little bit of breathing room in there, which is pretty amazing. Circuits are go, and we are leaving. Woohoo! Let's go, let's start our new adventure right now. Okay, goodbye apartment, goodbye very full trash cans. Woohoo, let's go. Just got me some Starbucks and uh, Mr. Skeleton has already got quite a few compliments. So that's exciting, but uh, I just wanted to take this moment to say goodbye Hershey. I'm really gonna miss you. This was a lot of fun. This was a lot of fun, oh man. Really gonna, really gonna miss ya. Quite a lot. Yeah, definitely very sorry that I never got to, I never got back there. I sure meant to while I was here, but I just didn't have the time and decided on other things. But uh, that's all right. I will definitely be back. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Hershey Kiss Street Lamps. I'm sure gonna miss ya. Gonna miss ya a ton. Goodbye, Hershey Museum. Really sorry that I never got to visit you. <laughs> Mr. Skeleton is getting all of the attention. All of the attention today. Literally three people. We barely made it out of Hershey, Pennsylvania. And three people, random people, have been like, Oh my god, there's a skeleton in her car. Goodbye, Starbucks. Goodbye, Iron Hill the Brewery. Goodbye, Pimenti Brothers. Goodbye, Beef Jerky Experience. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Oh no. Goodbye, Freshito. Oh, I love you so much. Bye, First Watch. Bye, Street. I would drive down almost every day. Oh my gosh. Oh, goodbye, Hershey. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. Thank you for the memories and thank you for having me. Oh, this was such, this was the best time here. It really was. Oh, and goodbye Reese's Factory. Oh, the Tampa J and I did our first vlog together. Oh, bye. Bye-bye. By the way, yes, it does smell like chocolate. Wow. And goodbye what I'm pretty sure now is an abandoned friendlies. Bye friendlies. I ate at you once and it was, it was okay. I love friendlies though in general, so bye-bye. And just for the record, the time
time is now almost 11 o'clock and we have just about a six hour drive. Well, I give you a Publix. Possibly the most northern Publix there is. Not really sure. We are in Virginia right now. Maybe about an hour, maybe a little less away from Richmond. And um, I definitely saw this Publix as I was driving to Florida the first time a number of months ago. I never stopped, but I saw the sign. I freaked out because I love Publix and now, well, I decided why not stop at the Publix? Gotta use the facilities anyway. So might as well go, uh, go check it out. Holy moly, y'all. A two-story Publix. They got a bunch of seating up here and you can survey the grocery store below you. Wow. I'm so glad I stopped here. Back in the car now, and I went ahead and got myself a uh, pomegranate peach tea thing. And um, I wanted to say that this video's coffee and or pomegranate peach passion white tea is sponsored by Ashley. Thank you so much, Ashley, for, uh, for buying me a coffee and supporting the channel. I really, really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy this video. So thank you, cheers. All right, Mr. Skeleton, you ready to get back on the open road? I think he's ready. I also got some, uh, a snack. I got some popcorn from the public show. Okay, got almost a half a tank of gas left, a little bit more than that, and we have about a four hour drive ahead of us. So, let's get her a going. Switching over to the iPhone really quick so I can be hands-free while I uh, while I talk to y'all. So, um, little history lesson of Chris here for you. Um, before I lived in Pennsylvania, I lived in Arizona. Yeah, I've lived all over this country. Um, I lived in Arizona for a while, and um, near the end there was really feeling like it was, you know, it was the end of my time in Arizona, like I could feel it. And um, there were a lot of different reasons why I felt that. A lot of it's very, very personal. Um, but in any case, uh, I decided that it was time to leave Arizona and um, I felt very, very compelled to move to Pennsylvania. And um, I can't really explain why. I really didn't know why. I just knew that that's what I had to do. Um, I gave many, many reasons as to why I uh, was going to live in Pennsylvania because it was just kind of a random move, truly. But um, deep down inside, I really wasn't sure why. And um, I, but I just knew like this was this was what I was supposed to be. What I was supposed to be doing. So um, I packed up all of my things for the umpteenth time um, and packed them all into my car just like I'm doing right now and uh, headed over to Pennsylvania not being really sure what I was about to come up against. And um, it became very apparent um, you know after after I was there uh, well, that's, that's when I decided that I wanted to start my YouTube channel. And, um, you know, for one reason or another, which I've, I've kind of explained in various videos and in the interviews that I did with We Were Inverted um, and stuff like that. So I'm not going to go into that here in this video. But essentially, in my mind, especially looking back on it and especially now leaving Pennsylvania, uh, it seems to me that the reason that I was there was to start my start my channel and build my channel, which is exactly exactly what I did. Now there's I was talking to Jay about it ye uh, just yesterday, and um, I'm not sure that if I had stayed in Arizona that I would have started a channel. 
or if I did, it would have been very, very different from what it is now. Um, so I really feel like being in that area and being so inspired by like all of the weird theme parks and roadside attractions and different things and, you know, obviously living in Hershey and all of that stuff, um, it really inspired me to do a channel. And, um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to, to throw that out there for, for you all. Um, you know, I'm not, personally, I'm not a religious person, but I am a very, very deeply spiritual person. And, um, and you know, you can take this however you, however you want to, but this is how I feel. But I, I do feel that I was meant to be there in Pennsylvania. And um, I really feel like that's why. And of course, the, the vlog has brought me so many amazing things, so many, so much happiness, so much joy. Um, I've met so many amazing people. Um, and of course, all of you as well, amazing people. And, uh, you know, all of the comments and all of the support and, and, and all of that stuff. But um, it also brought me to, uh, to my soulmate to the love of my life and um there's no saying if uh you know if i didn't have my channel if we would have met if this if all of this would have went down it probably would have because i do think it, it's meant to be and if it's meant to be then one way or another we would have we would have got together but it still made the process easier i guess uh so there's there's that as well so for me to me moving back to Florida to the place that I grew up to the place that I do consider my hometown my home state um, and then to be with the person that I'm supposed to be with is just like it's pretty amazing I haven't had a lot of time to process it but as I've been driving along the road there's a dog in that car it's really adorable but anyway as I've been driving along the road and obviously I've had time to think it's just like wow I can't believe that I'm doing this <laughs> that I'm making this trek down here and I packed up my car with all of my with my life with my world and my car and um, leaving Pennsylvania behind and moving on to my next big adventure so and wow what an adventure it is so anyway, it's just stuff that I've been thinking about as I've been driving here. Now we're getting into some traffic. Um, but anyway, okay, well, gonna keep driving. Got about three hours or so until I get to the destination and um, till our next stop, I should say. Although along the way, I will have to get gas. I'm about a little over a half a tank, but I'll get gas before I, before I get to that stop. So, okay. Onward, right? Right. Coming up on King's Dominion on the left there. What's up, King's Dominion? Someday, someday I gotta check that out. Someday. Downtown Richmond. Here we are. Driven through here many, many, many times. I always love seeing this really classic Keep looking. Just down you gotta Google Maps. This classic looking train station here. So cool. Stop to get gas at this very quiet Shell gas station. Oop, already done. All right, I'm gonna go inside and get some coffee really quick. And then I think I have about two hours or so until my destination. Yep, about two hours until the destination, 5.47 p.m. Shouldn't need to stop anymore after this, hopefully. Also wanted to point out that Skelly Rex is here too. Originally he was going to sit right here in the middle, but I'm going to have to reconfigure him somehow because he kept tipping forward, so I had to put him. He's sitting on Mr. Skeleton's lap here. Alrighty, let's get going. Wow, I can't believe that this song is playing. It is definitely a sign. You hear that Thunderbug? They're playing your song. They're playing your song, Thunderbug. Okay, truly. So they played Thunderstruck, and now they're playing Shoot to Thrill right afterwards. Come on. 
this is definitely a sign. For fun fact, for those who don't know, uh, Tampa J always plays this song, Shoot to Thrill, as his plane takes off when he goes on his travels. So, wow, the fact that both of those songs just played just now on this random radio station, two in a row, holy moly, it's a sign. Okay, well, here we are at our destination. This is the North Carolina Fairgrounds. And uh, no, we're not here for the pet bird fair. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. I actually now have no idea where I'm going, but that's pretty cool. It's a little space shuttle thing there. That's neat. It is a fairgrounds after all. Looks like they got some rides out here waiting for a fair or maybe a free pet bird show. Eh? Okay. We are officially going on foot now because I have no idea where I'm going via the car. I have no idea where I'm going via my feet either, but we're gonna find out. I think we're gonna have better luck hoofing it. So, okay, let's go. This U-Haul is marking the entrance to the free pet bird fair and shows. It's inside of this building here. But um, again, that's not, that's not the destination. Very tempting. That's not where we're going. <laughs> hey, I know you. You look familiar. Yeah. I love you. Oh, you too, babe. you too. Slow down, little buddy. You're making it hard to carry. <laughs> now, in this building here is a, or at least was, a free pet bird show. Whoa. Yeah. So there was free, a reptile it was, festival? Yeah. There was a horror convention? A horror convention, an antique, antique flea market-esque market, thing. And, and a bird show. A bird show. Sounds like a Tampa, yeah. the Tampa fairground. There was a lot going on here today. You weren't at the bird show though, right? Did you no. see the birds at all? No? I didn't see no birds. I, I was over there the whole yeah. time. Yeah. I was inside the All building. the way over there. I parked so far away. I saw you though. Uh, yeah, I know. Yay. <laughs> Put basically everything you own. Yeah. In the back here. Yep. Oh, look. A thunderbug. Thunderbug. Go bolts. But we're trying to figure out how to get Mr. Skeleton back here so we have more room. Yeah. Uh? Nope. Go shitty out there. There's all the geese. There's, There's so many there. geese, yeah, a ton of Goose City. <laughs> Goose City. He did a show and he saw me because he watches the channel. And he had me pull, he put a, he drove a nail in his nose. And he goes, Tampa J, I want you to pull it out. And so I got it on camera. I, dude, I pulled it out of there and that, it hurt him as much as, I mean, it hurt me as much as I hurt him. I mean, oh, it was like, yeah. And then I drop it because I'm like, disgusting. And then he picks it up and licks it. He's like five second roll. Yeah, no lie. Taco Bell. No road trip is complete without Taco Bell. That's actually Jay's Mexican, Mexican pizza, pizza there. Pizza. Yeah. School Taco Bell sign. Old school Taco Bell sign brings me right back to the 90s. Ate a lot of Taco Bell in the 90s. I bet you did too. Yeah, that actually takes me back to the 80s. To the 80s, yeah. yeah that's I bet. The 80s sign. I love it. We both freaked out when we saw it. All right, everybody. Well, that is gonna do it for today's road trip. Um, just to recap, because I didn't really do that. Just kind of added in a bunch of random uh, scenes of what has happened. Uh, Tampa J is here. Hello. I picked him How up. How did I get here? I know. I'm driving right? your car. So crazy. <laughs> yep, I, I declined to mention that at the beginning of the video. And uh, yeah, here we are. We're going to drive down to Florida together. Florida? I think I've heard of it. Yes, once or twice. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's the plan. This is um, an awesome plan. I'm so happy, so excited that this is happening. And obviously really excited to be taking you all along with us as well. Um, we are so happy to be able to uh, share this with you all. Um, such a huge life event for myself and for Tampa J as well. This is the best day of my life. And um, Krista yeah. Girl is moving to Florida. <laughs> officially. Officially, yep, officially. So it's, uh, 
it's it's just a pleasure yes. uh, to be able to share it with you finally. I, I know a lot of you have showed so much concern, <laughs> a lot of concern over us, uh, you know, me going back to Pennsylvania and, and all of that stuff. And it's, it's very, very sweet and very kind. And I want to say thank you for that. But you don't have to worry anymore because... Yeah. Moving to Florida. I'm gonna touch. So. I didn't touch on any of that in my video today because I was gonna do it tomorrow. Yes, thank you, and I'm very glad that you said that because Jay made a video today as well. He was at the convention at the convention at Carolina Screaming uh, Scream Carolina Fear Fest. Fear Fest. I know. I called it. I called it so many things. I think I, call, I, think I got it. Fear I think Fest. I got it mixed up with California Screaming, which was the roller coaster yeah, at California Fest. Adventure. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, but he yeah. went to a horror convention I, I wasn't, today I wasn't in North sure, Carolina. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I needed to say it all yet because I didn't know what you were doing. So right. Yeah. We but, were, but I was that's, like, I kind of, I hinted at it though. I was like, I'm gonna meet yeah. up with someone. <laughs> well, that's that's what he was doing today. So make sure you check out that video. Yeah as well and then yeah we're driving down uh we're gonna continue our travels we're gonna make a stop tomorrow and do a you know video together tomorrow and then keep going down to to florida on this yeah. memorial day we'll weekend. take it easy just nice and so, easy yeah exactly. we don't have a lot of room in here so no we sure don't i i declined <laughs> to mention that mr skeleton is literally sitting, you didn't tell him? sitting on my lap no, they heard, just, they've heard nothing we've said they're just like why, why is there a skeleton, skeleton on her lap, lap? There's no more room. <laughs> oh yeah, bananas. He, Just bananas. He, he, this he, is uh this is it. This is our a, life. There's a dead guy on your lap. There is, yep. I wouldn't have it any other Mr. way. Mr. Skeleton. Yep. Alright, well He's coming again to Florida. Thank you. Thank you all so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Make sure you check out Tampa J's video thank as well. You. I walked around the convention a little bit as it was closing. It looks awesome, so I can't wait to watch the video myself. Mm. And uh, yeah, stay tuned because we're back together. The gang's back together. Woohoo! Dynamic duo. Yep. So, so okay. Happy. Well, thank you all I'm again. I'm like shock still. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're, we, both, we both definitely are. Yeah, I just so. had a lot to talk about. Yeah, that too. So we're kind of, <laughs> we're tired. We still got two more hours to drive, so. Exactly. And then we got to edit these two videos. Two hours and three minutes. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you all again for watching. Really appreciate it. Bye. We'll see you later. Bye. 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 Make sure you stop at Bucky's. <laughs> if you see a Bucky's, make sure you stop. You heard him, you heard him. Yep, okay. Well, Back where you, you better shop at Buckies. You better get Tampa J. Shapiro for Dockets. You better. Man, I can. Well, okay. I'm still here, by the way. I'm yeah. Still here. Yeah. Just driving. I know. Yep. Guys, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're talking crazy. on their own. Exactly. <laughs> so, okay. Bye, everybody. Well, bye. Ending the vlog appropriately enough at a Bucky's, brand new Bucky's here in uh, Florence, South Carolina. Right, you know Bucky? Uh huh. Go on. We got some paper nuggets right here. We did. We, we got. We got two bags. We got two. We didn't get three because that gives us another excuse yeah, exactly. to stop at Bucky's before we get to Florida. Woohoo! Thanks, Bucky.